Developing in the Middle East, Israeli warplanes pounded the Gaza Strip overnight, killing at least six people. The cross-border battles have entered a tenth day with no signs of stopping. At least 219 Palestinians and 12 people in Israel have died. Reporter Ian Lee has the latest. <laughs> It's one of hundreds of funerals over the past 10 days in Gaza. This time, an Israeli airstrike killed Palestinian journalist Yusuf Abu Hussein. His colleagues took a moment from covering the destruction to mourn one of their own. We hope we can restore quiet. Earlier today, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu defended Israel's heavy hand in Gaza. We try to target those who target us with great precision. He added, the military warned civilians to evacuate buildings that will be bombed. But still, dozens of Palestinian children have been killed and even more injured. At least 50,000 Palestinians in Gaza have fled their homes, taking shelter in schools. Some Israelis are also trading their houses for bunkers. Gaza militants have fired more than 3,000 rockets. While Israel has shot down most, some are getting through. At least 12 people have died. Every place now is not safe. Nathanel Sharvit, his wife, and their four children are taking cover in a shelter. He says the kids suffer from anxiety. They're afraid to sleep in our home. Until there's a ceasefire, kids on both sides, Israeli and Palestinian, will keep living in fear. Ian Lee, CBS News. President Biden is calling for significant de-escalation from Israel, but Prime Minister Netanyahu says he is, quote, determined to continue the Gaza operation until its aim is met.